Hey everybody, so I'm working on this project. I just actually finished it. Uh, I've been working on this for the past uh, couple of weeks uh, with Alex Checker and um, Tony at Intentional 3D uh, and Will, who's another prop maker um, that I'm recently working with. Uh, and they actually built this uh, machine. This is a Voigtkampf machine. Uh, for the Living Computers Museum uh, that we've been working on for an event that's actually happening tonight. Uh, we actually have three of these Voigtkampf machines. And my uh, part in all of this was to add some actual functioning electronics into it. So this has a Raspberry Pi uh, with a standard screen in there. Uh, and there is a circuit playground inside here um, which actually acts as the interface. Uh, so there's a switch and then there is a camera. So this is the actual Raspberry Pi camera here. Um, but I'm going to show you what it'll do. So if I press this button here, it's going to do a countdown and you can see my hand is waving in front of the camera. And it's going to take a picture and then it overlays this graphic on top of that. Uh, now, it doesn't save those pictures or upload them. Uh, actually, sorry, it does save those pictures and then it shares them in a file over here. So, uh, I unfortunately only have two machines that are taking photos. Um, the other camera seems to be having some issues, but these are the um, shared folders from each of those cameras. So, if I go through, I can see the the images uh, now it is one image behind so if I take the picture there I should see one new image pop up and there we go so that is the picture of my hand so it is shared wirelessly um, the other thing that it does is it picks a random number and will decide if you're a replicant or not. Uh, if you are a replicant, we'll see a buzz. I'm actually going to do it on this machine because this one doesn't actually take pictures. But it will test. Sometimes uh, it takes a little bit before it will register someone as a replicant there's essentially a one in three chance that it will pick you as a replicant. So not super scientific, but fun for parties. Let's see if it'll do, no. Nope. Let's keep going. There we go. So that time the person was a replicant, there's a beep and the, um, the two screens turn red to indicate. So uh, that's basically what I've been up to the last couple of weeks. If you want to see this, be sure to come to the Living Computers Museum here in Soto um, for the uh, Robot's Dream of Electric Sheep Party, and um, it should be a blast. All right, thanks. Bye.